Um, and neutral makeup for beginners, something super easy, super, so, something super simple that everybody can do. I'm going to show you how I do my makeup. We're going to start with um, all of like the little products that you can use and stuff like that. So I always start out with moisturizing my lips. And if you guys have any questions on um, if you want an in-depth review on anything or how to do something specific, leave it in the comments on either YouTube or TikTok. And I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Sometimes it's hard to get through all of the questions and stuff, but I will get to them as soon as I can. Um, we're going to go ahead and start moisturizing our lips. Give them La La Skin Nourishing Lip Mask in Coconut Kisses. This is listed in my Amazon storefront if you are interested. If not, you don't have to. Oh, thank you, Amanda, for the gifts. You don't have to um, buy this brand. You can get any one. Um, but just nourish your lips. Use some Vaseline. Use anything. Next. Oh, we need to reset our gift goal. Sorry. So, I'm going to reset gift goal on TikTok. I'm not forgetting about y'all. Let's do... She's my cherry pie. Oh, Lord. Y'all got that song stuck in my head. When a song is stuck inside your head, your head. Sing this song. Just sing the song instead. Let's do... Let's do... 100 perfumes. That's a lot, but... 100 perfumes. Okay, thank you guys for following. So next, I'm going to use any kind of serum to get your face brightened. So what a serum does... As this is going to hydrate and plump up the skin. You can use the Glow Recipe Watermelon Niacinamide Dew Drops. These are really good. I normally... Actually, we're going to use the rest of these up. I have already been to the shop. Yes. I got that sucker changed early. I got that axle put in. Come home. Took a shower. I was at the garage at 7 o'clock this morning. So, the key to non-cakey foundation is, one, exfoliate your skin, and two, really moisturize your skin. Yeah, I got up super early this morning. I wasn't playing around. I was like, we got, we got stuff to do today, you know? We got stuff to do. Make sure your hands are always clean. Before messing with your face. And I just rub this in. Light. Thank you, Amanda, for the gift. Lightly. These are the Glow Recipe Watermelon Niacinamide Dew Drops. And you, I put this on before I put my moisturizer on. Just because, I mean, I think that's how you do it <laughs> from what I've seen. Thank you for subscribing. Light around the eyes. Yes, drink a lot of water. You're welcome. Down the neck. And I kind of wait for that to soak in for a minute. And while I'm doing that, if you're wearing makeup for the day, make sure your moisturizer has SPF in it. That is so important. I know my nose ring gets on your all's nerves when it does that. Yeah, see, I have my thing full of water. Water is so good for your skin and stuff. Like, it helps with elasticity and stuff like that. <clears throat> Okay, so that was your, thank you, Diana. That was your reminder to drink water. Next, we're going to use a mattifying moisturizer. This is SPF 30. It's by Dermalogica. This is also in my Amazon storefront. Hello, Raven. And I just put some dollops. 
Thank you for the gifts. All over my face. And I think moisturizing is so important. Um, it helps your makeup apply better. And everything. So I definitely recommend to moisturize. Collagen is very good, yes. Hello, Courtney. Thank you for following, y'all. And if you know anybody who's um, new to makeup and needs just to learn a little bit more, go ahead and share this with them. Um, and if you like following me, make sure that since you're following me, you also follow my other platforms, Instagram and YouTube as well. No, what was your message, Kat? I do contour. We're going to do a super easy neutral eyeshadow look. <gasps> Pri uh, is it Prissy World? Thank you for your first gift. Me and you share a very special bond. Hello. Hello. Bobby Sue. Thank you. Okay. See how like our skin just looks so plump and hydrated. You know. Jessica, your subscription's expiring soon. Next, if you have under eye bags or need some under eye oomph, I use the No More Baggage um, Eye Depuffing Gel, and this is by Dr. Brandt. This is also on the Amazon storefront, and I just put a very little on both sides. And what finger do we blend with, guys? What finger under our eyes do we blend with? Stephanie! I do not self-tan. Ring finger! Yes. See, if I make this interactive, I feel like more people get stuff out of it. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, you guys are so sweet. I do not use a jade roller. I used to have one, but I lost it. I don't know what happened to it. Um, so I don't use it anymore. Hello? Oh, thank you so much, Sydney. Thank you, Majory, for the gifts. Yeah, you can see my nails. They're Mickey Mouse. Dashing Diva. I have a video on how I applied them. Deidre, thank you. Oh, in my own world, thank you so much. Oh. Your nails are pretty. Thank you. Cat. What would, what color would counteract? Oh, no. Does it feel cold? It doesn't really feel cold, but it is cooling a little bit. Not, are the nails from Ulta? They are. They're $9.99. I think these were. Your complexion is really pretty. Thanks. I appreciate it. You're, <laughs> thank you all. Thank you for following. I did go to the garage this morning. I've already been. I fixed the axle. We're good to go. Um, we're good to start rolling. You know what I'm saying? Good to start rolling. Okay. Georgia, thank you. Your ring set is identical to mine. Mine's Adriana. Oh, Lord. Charlie tells me all the time what it is. Um, Adriana Lapel. Adriana Lapel, Papel. It's something like that. Adriana something. It's something like that. My Dashing Divas can last for... I've, I've had mine last for up to a month before. Yeah, sometimes TJ Maxx does have Dashing Divas for $4.99. Yes. Alright, next we're going to do our eyebrows. This is what order I go in. You do not have to go in this order. So, I start with a spoolie. And I make sure my eyebrows are kind of tame. And you're like, Caitlin, why would you do that if you're just going to brush right through them? Well, i got to see what I'm working with. Hey, George. What are you doing, George? So, i got to see what I'm working with. So, I just... 
I also do my eyelashes while I do this. Because my eyelashes grow in funky. My end ones. I don't know if yours do that. But my end eyelashes grow in funky. I just finished a yoga session by... Did you have fun doing yoga? I would like to try yoga. Ooh, I don't have no more brow pencil in this. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was going to use... We're going to have to switch it up. The e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil is amazing. If you guys need a brow pencil, get this. Get this brow pencil. You can get it in a two-pack for five bucks at Walmart. Okay. So, this one, <laughs> this Billion Dollar Brows one has one built into it. Okay. We're going to do our brows with this. Charlie is at work. All right, so I start at the front. I'm not a brow expert, okay? I'm not a brow expert, okay? And we start and we just kind of fill in. Now, keep in mind, we're going to spoolie back through these. So we can, we can kind of, Karen, you will lose your subscription. So we can fix our brows. I just kind of lay down the foundation of and <gasps> Diane, thank you. Cindy, thank you. You guys don't have to send gifts, but thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right. You seem like a sweet girl. I try to be nice and sweet and stuff. Thank you all. Cindy, thank you for the perfume again. Okay, so I've got one brow laid out. I'm going to do the other one. This brow pencil isn't really my color, but it says it's universal. Allie, that's so funny. That's so funny. Who's your mom, Allie? Next time I see her, I'll be like, Allie told me. I love face tan. Um, thank you, Shayla. So, tonight, I'm going to try to get Charlie to play Battleship. Is Emily on here? Still? Jan. <gasps> Next time I see her, Allie, I'm going to be like, listen, your daughter now knows. Oh, thank you so much. Now, I make grumpy eyebrows sometimes to kind of. Make sure. Thank you for following. I don't know if Emily's on here. She was on here. I was going to see if she wanted to go live doing her makeup or depending on what she was doing. <clears throat> Girl, I'm going to get you. Why are you going to get me? Next, I'm going to use the Florence by Mills Clear Brow Gel. <laughs> this stuff's awesome. I got this in a boxy, no, an empty bag. And I really like it. And I just brush through. And this kind of spoils through and kind of diffuses everything. I've sent my message four times. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me go back and look. I must be looking at like a different time. Last one I saw, Cat says, hey. Cat, I think it's filtering out your comment. Because I haven't seen it. Um, 
subscribing is another way to support your favorite creators. I'm hoping soon that they'll add the feature. I think they are, but because I saw something about it in a newsletter. But that doesn't mean that always, like, if you see it, that it'll happen. Um, but I'm hoping that you can get exclusive content. We can do subscriber-only lives on Sundays. Um, while we're eating, we'll do subscriber-only lives. Um, where if you're a subscriber, you'll have exclusive time to comment. Um, and you get emotes. You're not seeing it either, Cap. Yeah, I haven't seen it, Cap. And I just looked back through my comments. Did you see the news about BoxyCharm today? No, what was the news about BoxyCharm? I love my BoxyCharm. Is something happening? Lord, if they keep doing their prices, if they keep jacking their prices up, I might have to quit getting BoxyCharm. I'm not sure. Thank you for the gifts. My nose is itching. I'm sorry, y'all. That was real ugly. It's becoming Ipsy? What does that mean? So what if you have both subscription services? You know what I mean? Like I have both. So what if you have what if you have both? They're going to lose a lot of revenue from that, I bet. Spool it out. What bra stuff is that? This is the Florence by Mills Clear Brow Gel that I've put over my brows. And it just makes my brows look so much better. Sonia! The electronic battleship is fun. You can hear. <gasps> really? We? I don't think we have the electronic one. I don't know. I don't think it is, but I don't know. It could be. All right. Going in with concealer. No, not concealer. I'm going to use the eye prep, eye prime, eyeshadow primer in the color one. I gotta find my concealer brush. Thank you. What time is it for you? It's 12.42 here. I gotta find my concealer brush. Oh, my exes live in Texas. I don't think... Thank you for the gifts. Oh, Lord. Timber. Timber. Everything's falling down. Still waiting on the box to tea? Somebody said that it was turning into um, Ipsy, but they never said anything else. So, I've never, I haven't heard that, but I also haven't looked at my emails today. I haven't done that yet. Okay, concealer brush. I swear I had a concealer brush. I don't know what happened to it. We'll use this one. Oh, my ex is living. I don't know what I'm cooking today for supper. I haven't decided yet. You heard it too, Tina? So what are, what, are, what happens if you have both subscription services? You know? Actually, I'm going to use this one. This is a Luxie small shader brush. Ipsy has owned Boxy for a while now, sadly. So what are, what happens if I have both? Boxy Charm is a monthly subscription service for beauty products. Um, that apparently just got bought out or had been bought out by Ipsy. Uh, I did not know this. And BoxyCharm is not going to be BoxyCharm? How long are you staying on? Uh, until I finish my makeup. So, I just put a little bit of my eyeshadow primer on my... You're welcome. Um, on my little 
pot thing. How much does it cost just me to subscribe? Um, it is five ninety nine. Cat, did you try to do your comment again? Okay, we're gonna carve out the brow. All of my exes live in Texas. How do you clean your brushes? Um, I use different stuff. Sometimes I use a gentle, um, a gentle face cleaner or I use, um, baby shampoo. Emily, are you getting on? Are you doing your makeup? What are you doing? We're going to do a neutral eyeshadow look. I'm excited. Hello from Houston, Texas. Yes, if you're in a different country, it does cost a different amount. I keep forgetting that. I keep... I'm so sorry. I... I forget about that, and it, it makes me feel so bad because I say a price. It's cheaper in the United States than it is in other countries. Like, Canada is higher than the United States. Oh, okay. Use charcoal face wash? Yeah. So will it be, if you have both subscriptions, I need to look that up because I have both subscriptions. So I wonder if like, I'll just get one now. Like, I wonder if that's how it's going to be. When is this happening? As long as the prices aren't going up again, that's all that matters. Because I don't know if their prices keep going up, I'm going to have to get rid of one or the other. Because it's expensive. I mean, I love my makeup products. I love getting new stuff to try, but it's so expensive. Probably cleaning. Uh, Ooh, reverse version of the no boxy charm boxes are going up in price, but they are all getting oh no. Oh, nor. Golly gee. I'm going to have to get rid of one or the other. I like BoxyCharm more than Ipsy, though. But if Ipsy's not going to raise their prices, I might keep Ipsy. I don't know. I ended up canceling because of it. Oh, golly. I know, it was like there for a while, like last year I think it was. They like upped their prices like two or three times. Have, did you guys notice that? They like upped their prices two or three times. They can't be doing that to us. They can't be doing that to us. You know? Alright, so I'm going to be using the Coffee Shop Palette by Juvia's Place. Okay? Very beginner friendly. Um, I've never used this palette. But Juvia's Place has very good pigmentation, very good blendability, very good quality eyeshadows. And I felt like this palette would be good um, to suggest to people if I like it um, as a beginner eyeshadow palette. So let's figure out if I like it or not by using it. First of all, I'm going to go in with a light shade. These don't have names. We're going in with this color right here. And we're just going to set our eyeshadow primer because, listen, y'all, listen. Um, we don't want nothing creasing. We don't want nothing creasing, babies. Especially with no Ulta in Canada. Oh, no Ulta in Canada? Listen, I love Ulta. I am a sucker for a good Ulta store. Um, I call it the Orange Canopy. And that is dangerous. My friend is like my kind of palette. Emily, I'm using it. Does it to make it a friendly? 
Um, that was cringy, wasn't it? I'm using it to see if it's beginner friendly. Um, but my friend, he was like, um, he didn't know what Ulta was for the longest time. And I'm like, bro, it's only the best makeup store. And I was like, they have low end and they have prestige brand products. I said, but not like the really, really high dollar stuff, but they got high dollar stuff. And they also have drugstore, which I really like. And he was like, what? And I was like, the orange canopy, bro. The orange canopy. And he's like, ah. And ever since then, it's been the orange canopy. Okay. Can you hold up the front of the palette for a minute? Absolutely. freaking lutely This is called the coffee shop palette. If you give me 2.5, I can tell you exactly how much it is. Uh, hang on. I can tell you how much the palette is. I think it's like $25. $25. The coffee shop palette. $25. I kept my receipt. <laughs> Yeah, they have, so Ulta is like split into two stores. So, it, it, no, I lied. It's not split into two stores. It's split into like two sections. So, you have, you have, over on this side, you have your prestige brand products. Stuff that's like high end. It's, it's expensive, but like not the most expensive products you can buy. And then you have over here, you have your stuff like, Revlon, Makeup Revolution, Morphe, Elf, L'Oreal Paris, you have Ardell over here. So, like, both. It's, like, breaking down. You know what I'm saying? It breaks down both stores. You get the best of both worlds. Heaven, because you have it all. Exactly, Jody. Jody's got it right. Jody knows what's up because, listen, Ulta has it all. And if I was if I was getting paid to say that Ulta is the best, I'd be living in high cotton, okay? Because or what is they call what do they call it? Living in living in high cotton, living in they call it something. Uh, that's what I would be doing, living living the good life, you know. Okay, so I gotta find a blending brush. Now, if you're looking for a good bl walking in high cotton, hog heaven, high cotton, it's something, it's something in high cotton, something high cotton or something like that. It's something like that. Y'all probably know it better than me. High on the hog is what my grandma used to say. I've heard hog heaven too. I don't know what it is. It's something about cotton high. So it's something. It's something, y'all. Yes, I will be on live. Okay, cat. I've been really bad about checking Instagram. Okay, so I'm using this Luxie tapered blending brush. Actually, I don't want to use that brush. I changed my mind. I don't want to use that brush. I want to use a different brush. I'm good. How are you? Tracy. Definitely going to an Ulta. I've never been. Listen, Ulta is dangerous. Dangerous. So I'm what I'm doing right now is I'm Cleaning off temporarily my brushes in the color switch. I get these from Dollar and a Quarter Tree. In other words, moving on up to the top. To a deluxe apartment in the sky. Moving on up. Is that right? Did we ever guess your favorite candy correctly? What did you say it was? Okay. What shade? Oh my gosh, these are all so beautiful. Oh, to the east side? Oh. Oh, I thought it was to the top. Oh, moving to the east side? <laughs> oh, Kaylee, you do not have to. Natasha. 
Sasha Denona is at Ulta. Cadbury eggs. Yes, they are Cadbury eggs. You said Whoppers. It's Cadbury eggs. But um, my mom likes Whoppers. That's a Whopper. Oh, I don't know what color to use. I think we're going to go. Mm, there's so many to choose from. Let's do this one. On a small blending brush. Now, I have hooded eyelids. You think they're robin eggs? They were Cadbury eggs. Um, so, you see, like, where my lid creases? Like, right here? So, we're gonna go right above it. That is a new makeup palette, Kayla. Whoppers aren't allowed in my house anymore. Oh, no, why? Why? What happened? What happened? So, I'm going right above my crease. I'm laying down that color. And I'm going for like an oval eye. So we're just like, we're just gonna like blend. We might need more color on our brush, but we're just gonna blend, blend. High Cotton Song by Alabama. I would play it, but where I'm on YT2, I might get bananied. I don't want banana. So, easy. I'm going to show you all how to do it on the other eye. Okay. So, load up your brush. Loaded. Got it locked and loaded. Let's go. So, um, you see where my hood is? You're going to go right up above it, okay? And then I'm going in, so I'm going to taper down. Taper down. And then windshield wiper, windshield wiper, windshield wiper. Run them wipers till your windshield is clean, okay? If you have to pick up more. Pick up more. Don't be afraid of some color. You can always, Juvia's Place, their eyeshadows are so easy to blend out. So don't be afraid of color. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of your palette. Don't be afraid of that eyeshadow. You have a whole pan of it, okay? Don't be afraid of it. Good morning. Yeah, don't be afraid of your eyeshadow, okay? Because, listen, we can always blend this stuff out. Okay? And it don't have to be perfect. Okay? This is a beginner-friendly eyeshadow tutorial, not a I'm going to New York Fashion Week mama Jama. Okay? Ooh, listening and watching while I'm laying in the tan bed. Girl, you get that tan on! But be careful in the tan bed. Be careful. All right, I'm going to teach you a little bit about control on your brush, okay? Now, you're like, Caitlin, I've got my color on my lid. I need to buff it out. How do I hold my brush? Let me show you. If you hold your brush towards the end of your brush, so I've got my tapered blending brush. If you hold it towards the, the end of your brush, you're going to have more control in diffusing your color. So, this is not going to apply the most color. It's going to just diffuse what color you have on there. Okay? If you are like, Caitlin, I need to lay down that color thick and heavy. Here's, what you, here's how you're going to hold your brush. You're going to hold it closer. Oh, my gosh. I've got this eyeshadow primer everywhere. <laughs> you're going to hold your brush closer to the bristles. So, the closer you hold to the bristles, the more pigment you're going to have on your brush the less control you're going to have, okay? So you're you're going to get more skips in your skin, more jumps, more loops, more hoops, stuff like that, okay? Deb, I know it gets really confusing, doesn't it? Brandy, you're about to lose your subscription. 
Um, so uh, we're going to go through this again. If you want to pack on the color, where do you hold your brush? If you want to pack in that color, if you want to give that color, if you want it to say, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, where do you want to hold your brush at? Do you want to hold it towards the bristles or towards the end? Okay. Which, which one? We're going to hold it towards the bristles, right? If we want to pack on that color, we're going to hold it towards the bristles. If you need to diffuse, if you have a lot of skips, so I always hold my brush when I first apply my color, I always try to hold mine towards the brush, the bristles, because I want that color to lay down flat. But when I'm diffusing it out, I'll either switch my brush and hold it towards the end of it, or I'll keep the same brush and I will just bounce over it and we'll do fast windshield wiper motions. And this is going to diffuse that color up your brow. You see how like this, even just, even though I went like two seconds diffusing, do you see how like this looks more planned out? You see? Um, so diffuse everything. Just disperse it up. Kind of blend it and buff it out. So you're going to use... I'm going to kind of show you with this eye. You're going to use circular motions. You don't want to press really hard. Because if you press really hard, you're going to still skip and slide that color everywhere. It's not going to diffuse properly. Use a little bit of pressure, but not much. Just kind of go in circles and diffuse that color up. Windshield wiper motions or circular motions, you never want to drag. And... Um, because that helps me kind of get control of my color and kind of map out, map out where I want my color to go. But at the end, it doesn't have to be, thank you, Brandy. Thank you all for the gifts. I appreciate it. So, make up with Caitlin 101, okay? We're diffusing that color. We're getting it. We're diffusing it. We're making sure it looks good. And if this still isn't to your liking, I'm going to show you what you do. You see how small this blending brush is? If you don't like what you did and you want it diffused a little bit more, I'm going to show you what to do. Take a fluffier brush, less dense. See how this one's kind of stiff? This one's got a little bit more give to it. You see? More give. This one doesn't have as much give. This one doesn't have as much. This one's got the give. This one's got the give. So we're going to take a bigger brush. You can take a lighter color. So let's say I want to take this camel color. Dip it just a couple of times. Don't load your brush up, but you want to dip it just a little bit. And lightly go over above that color. And look how it kind of just blends everything and diffuses it out. Thank you, Majory. We're 50% of the way. All right. Is this helping you all or am I just talking too much at this point? So we're holding it kind of at the end. Christina, your subscription is expiring in 48 hours. It's great. Okay. I just didn't know if I was helping you guys or if it's more annoying me trying to help than. So see, I've diffused that color. We look really blended. We look really blended, right? So now I go in and I always do my lid color um, first and then I go with my outer color. So you want to find a nice packing brush or use your finger. Your finger is your best tool. So use them. Use them. Um, I think I want to go in with, I think I want to kind of be spicy on the eyelid. So I'm going to take this dark color right here and I'm going to put it on my finger. You can put it on whatever finger you want. I should have actually put it on my middle finger because that's the one I normally use, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I wish this had names on them. Okay. And then I'm just going to look, look at this. I'm going to leave my corner open. We're going to leave the corner open. The corner's open for any hooker who wants to stand in it, okay? The corner's open for any hooker. Anybody. No shame here. No shame here. 
<clears throat> so keep the corner open, okay? Keep the corner open. For any hooker, you don't want to take up her corner, okay? Placing it, placing it. See, look at that. Look how pigmented. I'm going to do the other side with a brush. Look how less pigmented this is going to be, okay? I'm going to do it with a brush so you can see how how less pigmented you're going to be. Now, if you don't like a lot of pigment, by all means, we're going to use this eyeshadow brush. Looks pigmented on the brush. We're going to we're going to douse it a little bit more. Looks pigmented on the brush, but I'm going to show you what you're missing out on. Okay? What are we doing with the corner? We're going to leave it open. Leave the corner open. I should be a teacher, huh? And we're going to... Look at this. Look. And I'm applying pressure. Look how much pigment we're lacking. She works hard for that money. Leave that corner open, girl. Look. Look at this. Look how much pigment we're losing. It's on your brush. That is on your brush. That is on your brush. So use your finger. Your fingers are your best tools. Don't pay for them extra eyeshadow brushes. Because listen, you need more blending brushes than you do eyeshadow brushes. Because guess what? Guess what? I can use my finger and get the best pigment, the best payoff out of glitters, out of shimmers, and stuff like that. You can get a better payoff with your finger. Crazy, I know. Leave that corner open for your girl. She works hard for her money. She works hard for her money. Yes, ma'am. Look at that. So much better, huh? So much better. Thank you for the gifts. Look at that. I just used my finger. I just used my finger. <gasps> we have a pumpkin birthday. Happy. Oh, we got to get a drink before we happy birthday it. Okay. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear pumpkin. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Happy birthday, pumpkin! Okay. We're going to move on. Leave the corner open, y'all. Leave the corner open. We're going to work on this outer corner now. Get you... You can use the same brush you used for your crease. That's not going to hurt. But I'm going to use a small shadow br packing brush. I just, I just feel like I need to use this brush. Something, actually, something ain't telling me to use this brush. Something's telling me to use this brush. This brush. Okay. This is a Morphe. Small shadow brush will work. I'm going to go in with a really dark color. Let's try either this one or this one. We're going to do this one. Pack that brush up. Pack that brush up. Pack that brush up. Thank you all for the gifts. Pack that brush up. Okay. Dark brown. Okay. Outer corner. I'm holding the brush. We want that pigment. So where are we going to hold it? Towards the end. And we're going to pack it. Pack it. Pack it. I'm turning my brush. Shooting into the inner crease. Shooting into the crease. Look at that. You want to blend it? So I'm patting. Blending and I'm patting. Patting and I'm blending. And then I'll take a small blending brush. Um, I don't 
don't have a favorite brush. I, um, I honestly use whatever's clean. Um, I know there's a big stink around Morphe. Morphe brushes are great. And I also really like Luxie brushes. Those are great. But BH Cosmetics has some really good brushes too. So I took a blending brush and we're just diffusing that color. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect blend. Look at that. Can someone pin my comment? Thank you for the gifts. What's your comment, girlfriend? Boyfriend? Huh? <clears throat> so let's get our brush. Pack that full of pigment. And if you have time, the best way to do this is to play around with the brushes and your eyeshadows. Because every eyeshadow, every brush is different. Um, so, today's your birthday. Happy birthday! I'll sing happy birthday again in just a minute. But really play around with your brushes. Because every brush is different. Every eyeshadow palette's different. And another tip is the closer you hold it, your brush to the bristles, the less control you have. The closer, yeah, TJ Maxx, cheap brushes, yes. Um, the closer you hold your brush to the bristle, bristles, um, the less control you'll have. The further from the bristles towards the end, the more control you're going to have. So, like, I have more control right now with where my shadow goes. And right here, I have less control. Do you get it? Am I, am I explaining this okay? I just kind of wanted to go in depth. Because I know some people... Oh, thank you, Flawless. Raven! I, I just really hope this helps people because so many people are afraid of makeup because they don't know how to use it. They don't know what products do. They don't know how to do it. And honestly, makeup is trial a lot of trial and error. But a lot of things... But a lot of things are... Aw, Cat! Macy! A lot of people are afraid of makeup because they're afraid of the products themselves. Um, and I know, I know that sometimes products can really freak us out. Sometimes we're like, wow, that's a really dark, intense color. What do I do with that? Well, you work with it. You just, you just work with it. And guess what? If you have, if, if one shade that you have is too intense, go back with your lighter colors. Go back in with your lighter colors. And look, you can make it work. You can make it work. I trust the process. No, it's okay. I'm from Tennessee. Yeah, a lot of people are afraid of makeup because they're like, what does this do? What does this do? What does this do? So, we've got the majority of our makeup complete, okay? The majority of our eye makeup. What are we, le we left with? We're left with our inner corner, and we're left with our brow bone highlight. I'm going to teach you a little trick. Get your favorite highlighter or the highlighter that you're going to use for the day, and get a small brush. You want the smallest brush you can find. I'm going to use this small fluffy brush. You're afraid of makeup because of glitter? Yeah, a lot of people are. Okay, so I'm going to take my favorite highlighter and glazed donut. And I'm going to get my eyeshadow and I'm going to pack it on that brush. Greetings from Mexico. Aw, we can be besties. 
I have glitter currently on my forehead and I have no idea how it's same. I get that way all the time. Oh, Brian, thank you so much. Brian, you're so sweet. All right. Going in. We're taking up that corner. We're taking up that corner, ladies. That spot is taken. That corner. Taken by that stunner. That highlight. That stunner. Can you recommend something for dry lips? So if your lips aren't cru like if your lips aren't busted open and bleeding, I recommend a lip scrub. If they are busted and bleeding, I recommend a lip aid and then a scrub. You was just gonna say that? That corner is taken now. Taken by the stunner. Taken by glazed donut. Okay? Corner is about to be taken by glazed donut. Corner number two. Taken by none other than glazed donut herself. She took over the corner. She conquered it. There we go. But we ain't done yet. <laughs> Under the brow bone, you need some highlight. So I just take my brush and I just add some highlight. You don't have to do this. It's not mandatory, but I think it really brings a look together. The corner is now occupied, yes. Your corner is occupado. Okay? Occupado. Look at that. Occupied. <laughs> the corner is now occupied. Yes. The corner is now occupied. Okay, now we got to do, do, do we do wing for beginner or no wing? Do we need help with the wing dial on her or no? <clears throat> okay, wing dial on her. This is very difficult for people. Um, I do not work. Well, I actually, I'm working right now. Um, but I do not have, like, a 9 to 5 job, if that's what you mean. I'm a full-time contract creating. Okay, we're gonna do a small wing. We're gonna do a small wing. So, I've been using, for the past couple, um, these, this Haas Laboratories eyeliner by Lady Gaga. I really like it. I got it off of Amazon. Um, I really like it. So, I always start with my wing, um, and then I do my eyeliner. So, I hold my brush, like, my my makeup brush like this. You don't have to. Um, for me, it just helps. <laughs> but I hold it like this. And I start with the tip on where I want the tip of my wing. Yes, I do this full time. Um, So where I want the tip of my wing to be, I start with the tip of my pencil. Or my the tip of my liner. So I want it to start, I want it to end right there. So one swift. It's important to do one swift motion down. That's how I do it. I don't know if that's technically right, but makeup has no right or wrong way to do things. So that's how I want my wing to end up. You can sh shift it, shape it later, but that's how I do it. Then I start at the top again. And I draw a line to the bottom. Then start at the inner corner. Thin line. Just make it connect. Okay. 
Straighten up the wing if you have to. But it shouldn't need it. See? Short, sweet. Yeah, I'll do lipstick today. See? Short and stubby. Short and cute. Short and stubby. Thank you for following. I appreciate that, y'all. Liquid pens always run or smear. So, that's not necessarily true. Um, you just have to be using the right one. So, and, and using it to your eye shape. So, everybody's eye shape is completely different. Um, thank you, Nevea. Is it Nevea? So, start by holding it like this. Now, remember, your wings, sisters, not twins. Cousins, not twins, okay? How do you keep mascara from transferring to your upper eyelid? You cannot control that, but I can show you how to easily fix it. I have hooded eyelids, too. See? I have hooded eyelids, too. So, I, they're sisters, not twins. Where I want it to be. Hello? Where I want it to be. I might have to make my other one a little bit longer. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you. We're almost to our gift goal. Thank you so much. We're 80% of the way there. All right. Start from the inner corner. Thin line. Same applies for this. If you want more control towards the, the end. Try those trending lipsticks. Thank you, Star. What trending lipstick is it? Okay, then look forward. Is it the same? No, if not. Thank you all for the gifts. Thank you so much. All right. I think. We're as good as we're going to get it. Remember, sister, cousin, twins. Revlon Glash Shine. Yeah, I'll try. I'll look it up. Thank you all for the gifts. Let me know if you want me to do another gift goal. Thank you, Brenda. Star, thank you. Um, so someone said eyeliner is supposed to look thin like an eyelash. Listen, if that's how you, respectfully, if that's how you want to do um, your makeup, do your makeup like that. Um, if that's not how you want to do your makeup, don't do your makeup like that. Makeup has no rules. Makeup is by personality. Everyone does it so different. Um, if you want yours to look like an eyelash, by all means, do it. For me, I like mine like this. Do 200 chocolate strawberries. Okay. 
That was a very specific goal. <laughs> but we'll do it. We'll do it. I don't know if we can get that many. That's a lot. That's a lot. 200 is very ambitious. You say 200. Okay. Yeah, makeup is a form of art. Um... Yeah, no rules to make up. Thank you guys. So I'm gonna do my tight line, which is under your lashes. So this right here is my tight line. That's my tight line. I'm gonna do it black. The first few times I did this, those are cute, aren't they? The first few times I did this, my eyes watered so bad, okay? But after a while, you kind of get used to it. <laughs> and then I'm going to put white eyeliner in my waterline. And you're like, Caitlin, why, why do you do that? Why do you do that? It makes your eyes look aw awesome and open. Thank you guys for the gifts. Allison, your subscription's about to end. So, no, make up there are no rules. You don't do it wrong. You don't ever do it wrong. And then, don't tug at your eye, but I do. I have to. I can't. Well. I'm so used to tugging at my eye to put in my contacts. Jocelyn, I do sometimes... Um, Karen, it's okay. Whenever, doll face. Um, I do sometimes, but not all the time. Thank you, Star, for subscribing. The eyeliner, the white eyeliner, um, makes your eyes appear more open. You see how this one, like, it looks more open than this eye? It just looks more open. You see? Thank you guys for the gifts. I appreciate it. Like, can you tell? This just looks more open. Just pop. You know? More more of a pop on this side. Thanks for the gifts. So, this one is the Essence um, White Eyeliner Pencil. I think this was like 99 cents. $1.99. Um, and then this one is like $3.99. It's the Essence Extreme Lasting 16 Hour Waterproof Black Love Pencil. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you all for the gifts. Oh, thank you guys. Oh, wow, Flawless Queen. I didn't know that. Good advice. I get this at Ulta. If you guys haven't went to Ulta, go pick it up. Go pick it up. I'm going to order some white eyeliner now. It just makes your eyes pop. It just looks so good. It just makes your eyes pop so much. So here we go. Look at that. Boom. She's open. She's wide awake now. She's wide awake now. Yeah, honey. Yeah, honey. Okay. We are now going to do mascara. I'm not going to do lashes because I feel like for beginners, um, a lot of beginners don't use lashes. So we're not going to use lashes. We are going to use... Essence. What was the brand of white eyeliner? It was Essence. Essence. I am going to use the Kat Von D foundation. I'm not going anywhere. So I'm going to use the Essence Lash Primer and the Essence Lash Princess. I always curl my lashes. Beginner people can wear eyelashes, but a lot of beginners do not wear eyelashes. Beginner people, uh, if I said they can't, I am so very sorry. I did not mean that. 
Um, they can wear eyelashes, but just a lot of beginners don't. They're afraid of eyelashes. Um, a lot of people don't know how to apply them, don't know where to apply them. So we're keeping this, we're keeping this beginner friendly. Bobby Sue, you do look pretty. You look beautiful. So lash primer, this one specifically is to help with super volume. It's a volume booster, so we'll see. They were not dry. My aunt rolled down the window. Did they fly off? Okay, do you all want me to show you eyelashes? We can do eyelashes. If you want me to show you all eyelashes, just let me know. I'm going to curl my lashes. We're going to start at the base. I give it one, two, three, four, five. Middle of the lashes. One, two, three, four, five. End of the lashes. One, two, three, four, five. We have curled lashes. Are we doing um, fake lashes or no? I have already been to the garage. Okay. Some people, yes. Some people, okay. Lashes. Okay, lashes. Okay. Applying the... Essence volume boost. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay. Do your mascara face. I'm keeping my lashes like this. Walmart makeup breaks you out? Which brand? This is a volume booster primer. And this is by Essence. That looks creepy. Watch out. Watch out. I'm coming for all of you guys. Watch out. Don't make me mad. Me and my white eyelashes will be there in a minute. No, it's not white mascara. It's primer. Me and my creepy white lashes will be there in a minute. When is the next ultra trip? When do you want to go? If I go again, I don't need to buy nothing. Yeah, I love creepy. Listen, I love creepy. <laughs> yeah, don't make me mad. I'm coming for all y'all. This one's Essence. Um, this is like my second time using. Ooh, ooh. Oh, honey. Don't make me mad. I'm coming for you. Me and my white lashes. You like my attitude? Thank you. Alright, now that I have my mad, creepy mascara on... Thank you, Amy, for the gifts. We're going to do normal people, less creepy mascara. We're going to do the Essence Lash Princess. This is my favorite mascara. It's really affordable. It's like four bucks, five bucks at the most. And root to tip. 
Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. What's spicy? What's your question? I didn't see your question. I don't really get uncomfortable with questions. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. She's a runner, she's a track star. It doesn't say wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It's just a little. Thank you for the gifts. <gasps> Daphne! How are you, pumpkin? We're doing supernatural. No, Taylor, tell me more. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, just a little. I don't know how it goes. I'm doing really good. Dorothy! Brianne, thanks for the gifts. Thank you. How does it go? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Or just a little. The putty contour and putty blush. This sounds interesting. Why do I can do it without opening my mouth mouth, but I have to concentrate way harder. And I don't concentrate as much when I see watch. Hang on. I have to concentrate really hard when I don't open my mouth. See, I feel like I just have to concentrate way more. And if, if I open up my mouth, I don't have to concentrate as much, you know? Okay. Bottom lashes for the win. You open your mouth? Yeah. A lot of people do. Yeah, most people do. Okay, look at that. We're going to apply falsies now. Y'all, people on YouTube are not going to want to watch this two-hour live stream, but we're at 73 minutes. I'm going to do a separate one for face makeup. A separate live stream. Okay, we're going to end this live stream, or do you want me to stay in the same live stream? What do you guys think? Do a separate live stream for face, or a new live, or stay in the same one? We're at 74, stay, okay. What about on TikTok? Mm. Everybody's saying stay, okay. So we're going to do lashes. I use, let me show you all the lashes I use, because we've got to clean these anyway. All right, these are the Kiss lashes. I've already cut these down. I haven't checked my email yet. Okay, I'll stay. These are the, um, no, these aren't Kiss. These are my Ardell Demi Wispies. Ardell Demi Wispies. They're easy to apply. They have a little thin band. Yes, I will upload this to YouTube. Yes. Oh, thank you. I would put on music, but I'm on a YouTube live stream, and YouTube is not a fan. 
Jeannie, I'm going to have to read my email about that because this is slightly terrifying to me. Because I thought they were separate entities, you know? So, to clean your old ones, you want to take all the glue off. We're just going to clean them as best we can. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, it's pajama day. Heck yeah. Ardell Demi Wispies are such beginner friendly lashes. Cut them down to the size of your eye. You don't want them too long. You want them to go right in the middle. So I'm going to lay these down. You see? Right in the middle. From corner to corner. You don't want them too far in. Because if you get your lashes too far in, guess what? If you get your lashes too far in, they're going to irritate your eyes. And they're not on, by the way. They're going to irritate your eyes, and you're going to be watery, itchy, and not have fun. Okay? So, cut them down. I cut, sometimes I cut my outer corners if the outer corners are too long, but most of the time I cut down the inside because I, I love really big lashes. That's just how I am. Um, so, on these particularly, I cut the inside. Yeah. Pokey poke. Yeah. We don't like, we don't like to poke. It would pokey poke your eye out. You know? Pokey poke. Okay. Oh, 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 caught in a bad romance. I want to do that with Charlie. Whoa. So I use the duo line it lash it. <laughs> Sorry. The duo line it lash it adhesive eyeliner in clear. It's got the silver lid on it. I get this from Ulta. Everything that I get comes from Ulta. Can you believe it? Um, so, I take... I'm going to try to get it to where both can see. So, I take the end. And look at that. We just go along the band. It's kind of hard to see. I'm going to go close up. On both so you can see. Look at that. On the band, okay? Let this start drying. I'm going to do a close-up over here. Should I do that trend? Oh, 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 caught in a bad romance. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, you see what I'm doing? Covering the band. Covering the band. And I sometimes use what's on this. If you have to re-dip, no biggie. Now, this next step is very important. Cash just dropped something. Cash, money, get out of trouble. This part is very important. I've got a lash. A missing lash. We've got a lash on the loose. Lash on the loose. Oh, crap, Nuggets. We have a missing lash. I just had it. They are easy to remove, yes. Okay. Oh, right here it is. <laughs> so, let these get tacky, okay? Okay. Let these get tacky. That is very, that is so important. Oh, no. Yes, let these get tacky. Important, important, urgent, urgent, important. Okay. What helps me the most? What helps the most? A pair of tweezers will help you get them stuck. Did you, did you all like that? Tweezers. Okay. I have, I have tried magnetic lashes, but I didn't have, I didn't have a lot of success out of them. What song was that? That I was singing. Okay. Now, I'm going to look down as I do this so you guys can see, okay? Here we go. I'm looking down. Can you all see? 
So I'm placing in the middle first. You see how it automatically sticks? It's like it's like it sticks itself. Cause I waited till it got tacky. And guess what? When you need to manipulate the inner corner, that's when you're gonna use your tweezers. Urgent, urgent, let these fully dry, okay? Let those fully dry. Let those puppies dry, and then we'll squish them together. We'll squish them like little pancakes, okay? Okay, looking down, we apply in the middle. In the middle. They want to fully adhere, but guess what? No, ma'am. See? See? And if you try to apply them before they're tacky, guess what? Guess what? They are going to be slipping and sliding. Be bobo locking. Yes, rascal flats it is. They're going to be sliding all over your eyes. And you don't want that. Okay. The most important thing that people never do, they don't wait for it to get tacky. And let them dry all the way. Before you touch them anymore, let them dry. Pop, lock, and drop it. Pop, lock, and drop it. That's right. Pop, lock, and drop it. Okay, now while we're waiting, we're going to use our primer. Today, I'm going to use this Pink Lips Soft Matte Primer. Yeah, I reuse mine. The ones that I'm using right now are reused from the other day. From my Mardi Gras look. Pink Lips Soft Matte Putty Primer. I reuse mine all the time. While we're letting our lashes dry. Yeah, I'll show the glue again. Hang on. Let's. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that, girl. Are your piercings sore? No. Why would they be sore? Is your piercing sore? Are your ear piercings sore? Sometimes my ear piercings get sore, like if I use really cheap, because I'm bad about buying really cheap um, jewelry to put in it. Uh, so sometimes my ears get a little sore. Hey, Scylla. So sometimes my ears do get sore. So that was actually like not funny. Do you guys. Why is it important? What, why, is, why is primer important? It helps with the longevity of your foundation. Not only that. But um, it also helps your foundation apply a lot better. So. Hello, Kimmy. All right, down the neck. Gorgeous, down the neck. Stroke the neck. Really get to know your neck. Really get to know your body, okay? Do you like white glue? I like clear glue, okay? I like clear glue the best. All right, I'll show you the glue. Uh, why are y'all laughing at me? Yeah, it does. On the skin. Okay, this is the eyelash glue. Line it, lash it, adhesive, eyeliner, and clear. It's by Duo. The Only the best kind out there. I'm just kidding. It looks like this. They are... Mm, they are so good, aren't they? I said something during your dinner last night and I got muted. Was talking about myself, never you. <gasps> no, Kimmy, why'd you get... I'm so sorry about that. Sometimes Charlie... Let me apologize for my honey bunny, okay? Sometimes... Sometimes Charlie... Um, if he thinks that somebody is being mean to me, he will block them. He is very... Charlie is very protective over me and if he thinks for a second that anybody is trying to talk sideways to me he is like block so i'm very sorry about that 
Um, I do apologize. But um, I try to tell Charlie, you know, tone it down. Not everybody's trying to be mean. Um, Alright, so now that they're dry, I just go back and I, oh my gosh. And I squeeze them together to make them look like they're part of my lashes. Oh yeah, Charlie's farts. Thank you, EMS girl. Oh man, I love that Runaway to Mars song. All right, and I said I would show you how to get that. If you get mascara on your eyeshadow, I got some on my eyeshadow. Do you see it in the inner corner? Take your spoolie. Take your spoolie. It's dry now. Thank you for the gifts. And look. Flake it away. Flake it away. She had a... She had mascara? She had mascara on her eye? Where? I don't see it. Where? I don't see it. You lying. You're lying. You're lying. I don't see it anywhere. Period. I don't see it. You're lying. Okay. Then you can touch up. Touch up the liner if you have to. Yeah, period. Period. Now it's time for foundation. This is the longest. It's it's because I'm explaining everything. But I want to be as thorough as possible. I don't want you to guess on what you're doing, you know. Uh, today, the primer I used is the Pink Lips Soft Matte Primer. We're going to use the Kat Von D Good Apple Foundation. And I've got my little... I get these from Dollar Tree. You're welcome. I get these from Dollar Tree. This is the best thing invented. These are little paint palettes. But all I do is I take my foundation, whatever foundation I'm going to use. I'll squirt a couple of pumps into this. And this is also to ensure that I don't waste a lot of product. And I will just... Sometimes I don't do this. But here lately, I've been putting dots on my face and that just helps me. That just helps me know that I have enough or don't have enough or whatever. <gasps> you broke your arm this morning. That is not good. That is no bueno. I hope you're okay. Prayers for quick recovery for you because I've had broken arms before. Listen, sometimes they can be a pain in the butt. Especially if you break the arm that you write with. Not good. You're beatboxing blueberry. What? So you can add or take away or whatever. Look at this. A whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. I don't know the rest of that. I can take you wonder by wonder Something over and sideways On a magical carpet ride A whole new world I don't even know if that's how it goes. Yes, I fell from the stairs. No! Now you're free from work? That's good, though. What's on the menu for this evening? I don't know. What primer putty did you use? Pink Lips Soft Matte Primer. Now, I've got my wet, dampened beauty blender, my booty blender. And we're just going to, you don't have to, you don't have to hit your face really hard. You just, you know what I'm saying? You just gently dab. A whole new world, don't you dare close your eyes. Something about over and sideways. Oh my gosh, you guys are as clumsy as me. I knew we were meant to be.
I knew we were meant to be. I do dampen it with water. Yes. Damp beauty blender. A damp booty beater. A damp booty beater. And I drag. Don't drag like I do. Yeah. Julie wants you to sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. No. Happy birthday. No. Happy birthday, dear. No. No. Hang on. I'm starting over. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear pumpkin. Happy birthday to Many more. Happy birthday, Bucket! Listen, I'm not I never claimed to be the best uh singer, okay? I never claimed to be the best singer. I try sometimes, but I just couldn't get it. I just couldn't get it. On the first time, I just couldn't get it. We had to do it again. Because it just wasn't it. I was not happy with that. You know? And I do not want a pumpkin to not be happy. You have a great voice, though. Listen, I would love to know how to professionally sing. Like, I would love to know how to, like, sing really good. But I fake it till I make it, you know? Mama told me to do anything I put my mind to, and I love singing. So what do I do? I sing every day. Because it makes me happy. It makes me feel free. It makes me feel loved. Even if I don't know how to sing very well. Hello? Okay. But there's this lady on YouTube. No, TikTok. There's this lady on TikTok. And she is a vocal coach. And she makes videos. And I low-key want to message her and be like, I'm tongue deaf, yes. I will be cooking, yes. Um, But listen. I'm going to, one day, I'm going to message her. And I'm going to be like, listen. Let's do a Skype call really quick. Let's do a Skype call really quick because your girl needs to know how to, to belt. I think that's what it's called. And I don't know how to do that. Did you go to bingo? I did not. Hello. Hey, Jackie. Hello, friends. All right. So. you i did this if you like the way it looks i did it on youtube so anybody can go back and look anybody anybody can thank you i'm not going anywhere after this <laughs> thank you for following i'm just doing this for fun all right next next we go in with concealer you're welcome Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer, and I use the color Fair Beige, and I'm going to show you how I do it. Now, I don't know if this is right. Listen. I don't know if this is right. I just do it, okay? I just do it. We just do the thing. We go down the bridge of the nose. A little right here. Ooh. A little right here and a little right here. Who is she? Who is she? Yeah, 
I do what I like to do. That's right. Thank you for sharing the live. Um, I love this concealer. It's the best. And then you just take your wet booty bender. Booty beater. We're going to warm up the face. Don't worry. She's looking a little dead inside, but we're not. We're going to we're going to bring her back to life. Don't worry. I am just brightening up some dark spots and also um and also anywhere I want to put my highlighter. So YouTube is Beauty by Caitlin. You can use yours before foundation. He does need to take me out for dinner, doesn't he? Well, shoot. Maybe I can tell him. Oh, okay, I learned something new. Yay, Heidi! We love learning new makeup tricks. I love learning new makeup stuff. I'm going to tell him, Charlie. We're going out for supper. Take me out to dinner. Take me out on a date. Hi, Gwen. Buy me some potato skins. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you'll ever bring me back. Yes, me and Charlie are married. Because it's root, root, root. For the home team. Yes. Ooh, buy me a nice T-bone steak. Get me a side of baked potato. Gwen, why did you retract your message? You want crab legs? Listen, if I told Charlie that steak sounded good, that's all I would have to say. <laughs> oh. Okay. Now. I instantly want to set my under eyes with Vizart translucent powder, any translucent powder. He gets off at seven, so kind of late. Thank you for the gifts. You're getting ready listening. I hope you have a good day. You are loved. You are kind. Okay, what is it? You is kind. You is loved. And you is important. You are kind. You are loved. And you are important. You're welcome. <clears throat> you is kind. You is loved. What is it then, Emily? I thought that was it. You is smart, you is kind, you is important. Oh, yeah! See, I knew it was something like that. I got it most of the way. Hello. I was close. I was close. I was close. Alright, taking a big brush. And I'm going to set my whole face. Thank you. Yeah, sing to us. What do you want me to sing? I only talk to God when I need a favor. I only pray when I ain't got a prayer. So who the hell am I, who the hell am I, 
to expect a savior. Oh. All right, we set our face. I love the foundation too. I use all different kinds of brushes. I don't use anything in particular because I'm not really picky. Thank you, Dawn, for the gifts. I appreciate it. I think we're almost at this gift goal, I think. Oh, a Jelly Roll concert, wouldn't that be amazing? I love Jelly Roll. I love Jelly Roar. I had a dream that Jelly Roll asked me to drive his... Can I tell you guys about a dream that I had one time about Jelly Roll? Um, I'm going to do bronzer. I'm going to show you the difference between using bronzer and not using bronzer. I'm going to show you what a difference bronzer makes. So I just have a bronzer and brush. And I'm going to use a very affordable Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm only going to bronze this side of my face. And I'm going to show you, okay? <laughs> this is in the shade Light this is in the shade light bronzer i promise i have not taken a gummy i have not consumed any gummies okay i've not consumed none thanks for following you have this bronzer this is the kvd foundation load up that bronzing brush load it up you love the giggle <laughs> okay my dream Let's go back to the I can't take myself serious with all this foundation on my lips. Hang on. Okay. What happened in my dream? Okay, let me tell you. So, we're starting off with the forehead. So, I had a dream. So, Charlie took me to this concert. And it was on top of an old wagon, okay? Um... <laughs> I love it. Okay, so, um, it was, he was doing his concert, his band and him were on this old wagon. And I told Charlie, I was like, do you think Jelly will let me, like, sing with him? Like, do you think he'll let me sing? In my dream, y'all, I got to go up on stage with Jelly. And I got to sing with Jelly. Okay? Bunny wasn't there. I wish she was, but I, I can't lie to you and say she was. You know, I can't say that we became best friends right then and there. But I got to sing with Jelly on stage. And we're gonna we're gonna hide that double chin a little bit, a little bit more than what it is. You know, it's prominent. It's not going away. The double chin ain't going away, ladies and gentlemen. Double chin is here to stay. But you know what? We can do a little bit of MacGyvering. You know, we can MacGyver and make it look like we ain't got as much. You didn't know who Jelly Roll was until the other day. Tisk tisk. Tisk tisk. Jelly's a good man. I don't know. <laughs> I watched this video that did say that Jelly Roll is a good man though. But yeah. I had a dream that I sung with him on his little wagon. And that fans were coming up to him and he was like, see Caitlin? He was like, this is um, what it's like. He was like, this is what it's like in the spotlight. That's what he kept saying. This is what it's like in the spotlight. And I was like, Jelly, you're old. Who's Jelly? Okay, look up Jelly Roll, his music. His music. So good. So I'm going to show you what a, the difference between a bronzed face and a not bronzed face looks like. So I used bronzer. Not only did it bring color to my face, but look, we're, we're looking a little snatched on this side. We look like we have a little dimension on this side. We look a little puffy. We look a little puffy and sad. We look a little puffy and sad on this side. We look snatched. We look put together. Can you guys tell the difference? So I'm going to look you straight on. And I'm going to look you straight on. Which side looks better? You know? Can you tell the difference? This this is where we shape shift. This is where things get scary. This is where things get really scary. This is where people are like, she said what? She really looks like that without makeup? She looks totally different with makeup on. It's the bronzer. It's the contour. It's the highlight. It's the blush. It's where you shape shift. It's where you shape shift. It's a scary thing, that bronzer. The bronzer and the highlight, the contour, the... Blush. 
That's scary stuff, y'all. This can make you look like something you think you, Dorothy. This can make y'all look like something you ain't. And I do it because it brings color to my face. But not only that, but it makes you look good. It makes you feel good. <laughs> it's a scary thing. It is a scary thing. Um, okay, I am liking that music. Thank you. You're welcome. Anytime I can get somebody else hooked on jelly is a good thing. And so there was a concert at Freedom Hall. That's kind of near where I live, okay? Kind of near. I would have had to drive like, uh, like 30, 45 minutes, okay? <sighs> Y'all... Me and Charlie were going to go to the Jelly Roll concert. This was before, like, I was a big Jelly fan. Um, we were going to go to the concert because it was close. And then I was like, no, you know, I don't want to go. I said, no, that's a lot of money. We can save, you know, we can spend it on something else. But guess what? I wish I would have went now. You saw Fluffy there? We're going to use NARS Orgasm. Y'all, this blush is so pretty. Insert, comment, whatever kind of... Oh, we're only at 45 out of 200. We're not close. Oops. I thought we was. He's going to Milwaukee. Yeah, this blush is so awesome. And it brings, like, a lot of color to the face. Hello from Matt and Bessie's sister, Megan. Hello. Thank you, Dory, for the gift. Oh, my gosh. I wish I was going on tour with Jelly. Being like a groupie. Oh. I would be a groupie. I'm using NARS Orgasm. It is the best blush. You have him playing on Alexa? He's good. He's good. He is good. We gotta fix these brows. There's something there's something not right about these. We gotta fix it. Oh my gosh, talk. Cheryl, you are lucky lucky. I don't know the closest talks gonna be to us i haven't looked at his tour dates i know i know he said his tour dates but i can't for the life of me remember all right glazed donut y'all i keep hitting pan and pan on this and this is scary this is my favorite highlighter and i've hit pan he ain't close to any, to us for any. Oh. Uh, I didn't think so. Whenever he was listing them off in his last live that he did here before he started his um, Discord. Um, I don't know how to use Discord or I'd go watch him. But I just don't know how to use Discord. I just, I just don't. But, um... It didn't sound like any, I, like I didn't, none of the places sounded familiar. And that's how I normally know if someone, some place is close, is, um, does that place sound familiar? Yeah, I do need to do a tattoo video, um, but I have to have Charlie film most of it. Because I have some... Tattoos that can't... He goes live on Discord too, Emily. This is Glazed Donut Highlighter from Ofra. It's a little expensive, but it's good. I got it in Boxy Charm. Boxy, boxy, boxy. I don't know if there's a mod on YouTube. Do we need one, Stephanie? Anyone is is who? Uh, talk or jelly? Um, 
Kelly, do you want an expensive version or a not so expensive version of setting powder? I have one of each. All right, I'm going to line my lips with this Dragon Beauty Lip Job Liner in the color... Doesn't have a color. How inconvenient. Okay, there's no color on that. I used the Kat Von D. Cheap. Um, I would suggest, if you're going cheap, I would suggest the Makeup Revolution, if I can say it right, the Makeup Revolution Coconut Setting Powder. Yes, I'll be live tonight. Makeup Revolution Coconut Setting Powder. It's translucent, and it works really well. I've used almost all of it. You're welcome. Nicole, I haven't read my emails yet, but obviously I got to because I'm way behind. I am way behind. Gonna line our lips. It got really quiet. Yeah, it's all one company. Yeah, that's what they were saying. <sighs> what a bummer. I don't know if that can be a good thing or a bad thing, you know? Um, I want to use my lipstick that I got. Thank you. I don't know what we're doing for supper tonight. The El Maquillage. Um, it's probably because it's got stuff in it that doesn't prevent flashback is why it does that. A lot will do that, but you just gotta, you gotta be careful. You always miss my comments. No, nah, you're making spaghetti. I'm good. How are you? We're going to use the Honest Beauty Fearless Liquid Lipstick. Glam Bag Plus will be boxy charm box going forward. My makeup station is so dirty, you don't want to see it. I do contour. Well, bronze slash. Boom. Do we like it? And then the last thing we have to do is just touch up our bottom mascara and setting spray. Aw, thank you. Did you guys hear that? That was my stomach. You did? I don't know. 
I don't think I'm going out. Love the normal look this time versus some of the makeup. I know. I know, I know Bobby. I know. Emily doesn't like when I go crazy. <laughs> the gurgle, it was my stomach. Yeah, it was definitely my stomach. Um, makeup setting spray. Let's use... I use the Essence Mascara. Thank you, Dawn. Alright, this is Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. And guess what? Hold your eyes like this. Like this. And then get out your fan. Be bougie for a minute. I'm guessing where that goes. Just, just be bougie for a minute. Let all that dry. Boom. There we go. There we go. Thank you for following. And that is how you create a beautiful, natural makeup look and take a really long time doing it. It took me a long time but I was also explaining so I hope that this finds most of you all well and um yes